Hi, I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on combination. Here are two excellent examples where we'll find out the number of ways in which distribution can be done for identical objects. Question number one, it is a multiple choice question. 12 buttons differ only by color. There are four red buttons, four green buttons, and four yellow buttons. If the buttons are placed in a row, how many different arrangements are possible? Four choices are given to you. Question number two. In how many ways can 12 prizes be divided equally between two persons, among three persons, among four persons? You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now let's see how to solve such questions. In the process of solving this question, I will also share with you a method which will help you to solve all similar questions. Question number one. We are now talking about 12 buttons which differ only by color. So there are four of each kind, right? So we have four red, for example, and we have four green and four yellow. So we have four green. And for yellow, I'll just put blue color. Now they are exactly similar except for the color. Now you need to find how many different arrangements are possible. So the clear answer here is that there are 12 in all. So 12 factorial divided by four of each kind are same. So those combinations will be similar. So we need to divide by four factorial for red, four factorial for green and four factorial for yellow, which I've shown as blue. So that becomes our answer. Now, this is one approach which we have learned for identical objects. Correct. Now, I will show you an alternate method. Now this alternate method is a very general purpose method which could be used in many such scenarios. And that is why I'm discussing this now for question number one. And it is going to help us to solve question number two and similar examples. So the question again here is that we have 12 of these, right? So what we should figure out is that how many arrangements are possible to distribute four of one kind out of these 12? So, so if we try to select four red ones, then out of 12, we are selecting these four. So we get a choice of 12 C4. Now, once we have distributed these four, then let's think about distributing the next color. Now that next color could now be distributed from eight of these. So that means from eight, we are selecting again these four greens. Now whatever left is to be distributed. So it is 4C4. So that is alternate way of doing the same thing. Correct? Let's figure out both the answers, right? So we have 12 factorial divided by so within brackets let me write uh, a cube of 4 factorial which is cube of 24 right 4 times 3 12 12 times 2 is 24 so let me write 4 cube here and equals to it gives us 3 4 6 5 0 so option b is the right option correct now, this is not a very difficult question. This is straightforward. Many of you know. However, the method which I'm talking about is very useful. Let's try to calculate this value also. So, so what we have here is 12C4. So we have 12C4 times 8C4 times 4C4, which is 1, of course. And what do we get? We get the same result, which is 
34650. Do you understand the method? So what we have done here is that we are now thinking about first distributing these four, then those, and then the next lot. So in this fashion, we can actually deal with identical objects with just combination formula as we did now. I hope that makes sense, right? Now, the answer is clear. Now let's get to question number two and see how our method helps to answer such questions. Now, question number two is, in how many ways can 12 prices be divided equally? Now, when you divide prices equally between two persons, then each is getting six, correct? So that means that two persons, so to the first person, we have to give six prices. So that is, from 12, we have to choose six. And to the next person, six out of six, right? So all other six goes to the next person. So that becomes the answer for part A, right? So you can always calculate this. Do you get an idea, right? Question number two is to select to distribute 12 prizes among three persons. Among three persons means everybody gets how many? Everybody gets four each, right? So, so this should be from 12, let's collect, select four. Then for the next person, we have to choose from eight, since four have been given out, four. And then we have four C4. That becomes the answer. Perfect. And the last one, if there are four persons and there are 12 prizes, each gets equally how many? Three, right? So, so here the combination is 3C3 times take away 3, we are left with 9, right? So 9C3 and then we take 3 more, we are left with 6, 6C3 six times 3C3. Do you see how we can collect uh, the answers very easily using this concept? Perfect. Now let's calculate the answer. So it is 12C6 for the first one, which is equal to 924. For the next one, it is 12C4 times 8C4 times, let's write down 4C4, which is equal to 34650 and for the last one we get 12c3 times 9c3 times 6c3 times 3c3 is 1 so we could write this as 369600 do you get the idea, right? So, if we know the number of persons, it could be any number of persons, and if you are distributing equally, this is a general method which could be applied. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comments and share your views, and if you like and subscribe to this method, it'll be great. Thanks for watching, and all the best.